Oh. My. God. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Justice League. I never thought I would be making this video. I made Justice League videos before it came out. My most popular video is a Justice League video about some deleted scenes. So, obviously, it has a place in my heart. I really like Justice League as a DC fan. There were some moments that really stuck out to me, but, like, looking back, I'm not, like, a huge fan. It's more of a guilty pleasure for me. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's kind of like that. And just out of nowhere, this news comes out. Holy crap, they just announced they are releasing the Snyder Cut on HBO Max in 2021. Zack Snyder's version of Justice League, which is apparently going to be near to four hours. Four hours! And so this completely dropped out of nowhere. People were like, oh, he's doing this Man of Steel, like, live watching party. He's going to announce something. We were like, oh, it's probably going to be the trailer for his new film. But no, it's real. It's happening. And, you know, he had the backing from those actors a while ago. Everyone was tweeting, like Gal Gadot, Ben Affleck, and everyone. They were all tweeting hashtag release a Snyder Cut. It's been a big movement and although I haven't been a part of that movement, I've sort of tracked it and you know I haven't had that much interest in it because I didn't think it would ever happen so this comes out of nowhere and they announced that they are releasing the Snyder Cut as it is said online. So now it's official. They are releasing the Snyder Cut on HBO Max in 2021 so there is a whole article that has been released via HBO Max. We're going to read this all out and we're going to talk about it so i'm excited for this because i had no idea this was going to come i really didn't think it was going to be a thing but it is a thing now so this is how the article goes may 20th 2020 after global passionate fan calls to action to release the snyder cut hbo max and warner brothers announced today that it will exclusively well premiere Zack snyder's director's cut of warner brothers slash dc's Justice League in 2021. Snyder surprised many fans with news this morning during a live online commentary of his film Man of Steel with Henry Cavill. Hashtag release the Snyder Cut first became a passionate rallying social media cry among fans in 2017 and has not let up. From countless press articles and hundreds of thousands of social media mentions, it became a powerful global movement among cinephiles and comic book fans. And so this is a quote from Snyder himself, and so he says this, I want to thank HBO Max and Warner Brothers for this brave gesture of supporting artists and allowing their true visions to be realised. Also, a special thank you to all of those involved in the Snyder Cut movement for making this a reality. So he very much so puts it down to the fans, so congrats to all who was in the movement because you got this made. Uh, which is exciting and so next quote says this since i got here 14 months ago and so this is the chairman warner media's home entertainment section and direct to consumer part the chant to release the snyder cut has been a daily drumbeat in our offices and inboxes well the fans have asked and we are thrilled to finally deliver at the end of the day it is really all about them and we are excited to release Zack's ultimate vision for his film in 2021. This could have never happened if it weren't for the hard work and combined efforts of the teams at HBO Max and Warner Brothers Pictures. So then the next quote says, when Zack and Debbie shared the extraordinary vision of what Zack wanted to make Justice League, my team and our counterparts at Warner Bros took it on as a mission to solve the many issues that stood in the way, said the chief content officer at HBO Max. And he says, Thanks to the partnership at Warner Brothers and the relentless pursuit of the entire Warner Max team, we are able to deliver this incredibly exciting moment for Zack, the fans, and HBO Max. Okay, so the next bit of the article says, Thanks to the efforts of a lot of people, we're excited to bring fans this highly anticipated version of Justice League, said Toby Amarek, chairman of Warner Brothers Pictures Group. And so he goes on to say, This feels like the right time to share Zack's story, and HBO Max is the perfect platform for it and we're glad the creative planets aligned, allowing us to hashtag release the Snyder Cut. So yeah, that is what has been said on the official HBO Max press release. But along with this, via a few different sources, mainly from The Hollywood Reporter, they have reported that Zack Snyder's Justice League, this version will be either or almost four hours long, and so this will be a director's cut, or it will be split into six chapters 
and it will officially cost about 20 to 30 million to complete. So from that you can sort of theorize and we definitely know what happened. So he's had this cut for a while, but it's basically uncompleted and he's obviously been doing some stuff behind the scenes to try and get it completed and they need that 20 to 30 million extra to finish it. He's finally got that support and he's going to be able to do that HBO Max. So HBO Max will debut this project in 2021 and I'm reading off of the Hollywood Reporter right now. So possibly in a four hours director cut or a six TV style chapters on HBO Max. So that is the specific quote from the Hollywood Reporter as everyone gets back together to recreate Justice League in a different way and so post-production will begin very soon. But also Zach had some quotes in the Hollywood Report article, he says it will be an entirely new thing and especially talking to those who have seen the release movie, a new experience apart from that movie. That's what he says to the Hollywood Reporter and he said you probably saw one fourth of what I did. So it goes on to say this, I always thought it was the thing that in 20 years maybe somebody would do a documentary and I could lend them footage, little snippets of a cut that no one has ever seen. And so Deborah Snyder, Zach's wife, also adds, with the new platform and streaming services, you can have something like this. You can't release something like this theatrically, but you could do it with a streaming service. It's an opportunity that wasn't there two years ago, to be honest. And so regarding the cut and what happened to it, so the Hollywood reporters say this, forget that the version that the fans wanted technically didn't exist. What did exist was semi unfinished work with no VFX and no post-production. Who had seen the version described it like a car with no panels, just a drivetrain and some seats, and it sat on a hard drive in Schneider's house for many years. So this is a quote from Zach, when we left the movie, so when he left the project, I just took the drive of the cut on it, says Zack Snyder, and he said, I honestly never thought it would be anything. So he just like naturally took it because it was like his version, and yes, he didn't finish it by the time he left the film, but you know, he did have this. And so the first year was about the milestones and the holidays, said Deborah Snyder, Zack's wife, and so now she says, now it's not those, but other moments like songs that trigger memories that hit me unexpectedly. And so Zach adds this, as a family, as a couple, I think we have grown in a way that has made us stronger and we're doing our best. You really can't hope for more. And so they're very excited about releasing this version of his film. So what do you guys think about this? This is absolutely insane that it's officially happening. Really, it was kind of a myth for a long time. I knew that there was like a cut out there that he had, but I pretty much summed up and sort of came to the idea in my mind, you know, came to the conclusion that it was very unfinished, but he did have a version and it's a long version because it's not been properly edited, there's no VFX, the post-production wasn't finished on it by the time he left the film, so that's why when you saw the film they did reshoots and then everything was sort of chopped up together. They did the post-production without Zack, and so things are gonna be very different. And I'm really excited about it. And I think this is a great thing for HBO Max. This was theorized about a lot, and people said, you know, this would be a great launching point. And HBO Max by itself, like, I'm gonna get it, and I'm not a big streaming person. I just have, like, Netflix and Amazon. Like, Disney doesn't even interest me, even though I wanna watch their shows and stuff. Like, I don't think it's worth it for me and you know all these other services like Apple and stuff but HBO Max by itself they've got some great stuff that I really want to watch so I was gonna get it anyway but now this is on there this is like another massive thing and I think it's gonna do very good numbers on HBO Max so I think I'm very very excited about this um, which is surprising because I never thought this would happen so let me know what are your opinions on this do you really want to see the Snyder Cut were you a part of this movement the whole time I wasn't, but I know some people were who I know, so yay for them and yay for me because I get to see it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see more Justice League Snyder Cut videos as we lead towards 2021, please be sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.